Oh, that was cool, that little roll. What's up guys, welcome back, my name is Sean, and today we're going to be reacting to Sugi's 28 Reasons Performance video. Take us, we are back with some more uh, Sugi. I need to check out the performance video or some kind of choreography video for uh, her 28 Reasons title track. Not just because uh, I absolutely love the song, but also because Sugi is an absolutely incredible dancer. She is the main dancer of Red Velvet, obviously. So thought we have to do her justice and actually react to a uh, choreography video. Now, I had to pick between doing the dance practice and performance video. Normally, I like to do the dance practice because the dance practice has like a still camera. We can see all of the stage. But I actually felt like since it's, it's like soggy and, and it's a performance video, I feel like this song might be best enjoyed as a, you know, as an actual performance or as a stage. So I chose to actually uh, use the performance video this time around. And hopefully it's a, it looked like from the, from the thumbnail, there is a very high quality one. So I'm ex super excited for this something. And let's get right into it. Alrighty, Sogi 28 Reasons Performance Video. Let's uh, put on the, uh, oh, the right captions. So we'll put on the English captions. Why not? Let's go. Ooh, so it's based with eight different pack of dancers. Well, I like the facial expressions already. Definitely. Definitely include a lot of arms, right? Like, kind of like in Naughty. Not the same kind of style, but still. Oh, that was cool, that little roll. The flute, she does, and a whistle. Oh. Damn, the dance is so fluid. The different moves, but seamless transition between. Oh. Mm, see that laugh, and she smiles like eerily. Oh, growl! And slowing down, and she's really doing a lot of sh really sharp movements. I wonder what, like, the gun is supposed to signify. I have no bad intentions, she says while plugging a gun. Oh. For your to get. Whoa. Oh, this is cool. This is just a flower blooming. Bit of a toxic flower. Ooh. When the hands being that shadow, she's hovering like a shadow with just there, the shadows around her. Oh! Oh. Oh. So, like, she does it so centrally. Oh! This is a, a small gun she's clogging. It's like she's pulling those vocals out of herself. I love that. Ooh, we saw that in the MV, the little helicopter. Ooh. And then she's sitting on like a throne. Damn. It actually reminds me a bit of in uh, what is in Feel My Rhythm when she's that like when she's wearing a crown when she's that like the the uh, the bird that's like a, it looks like a crow or something at least a blackbird with with a crown on top. And she's also sitting on like a throne. So one of that's a callback to that like you know that sitting on throne. Absolutely incredible. 
incredible choreography. There is such a, it's a, such a dynamic choreography because it changes not only with like tempo, obviously a lot of choreographies do that, they change with the tempo of the song, but no, they actually change it in terms of how grand their moves are. Like some of the moves they, they go to, to like the minimalistic little hand movement, like for the last chorus, instead of doing the big like rifle they, they used in the other choruses, instead they go into that little glock that they're loading. I really like how they are actually changing in between these really grand, very sharp movements, these small, very intricate, detailed movements. That's so, so damn dope. It's also very visible that that obviously she has had this training in what uh, what's it called? The, the, the hand dancing they did in Naughty. Obviously, that's not what they're doing here, but you can definitely see that she's had that training. She does a lot of those uh, small movements with her arms and hands very, very sharply. So, I don't know. It's just so damn cool to look at. I, I wonder who actually did the choreography, if Soki was even in on uh, doing it. I, I have no idea, but she did an incredible job. Also, just her look like that long like uh what's it called what's it like the long oh the long braid is what it's called the braid looks so damn good on her it kind of gave me a bit like Katniss Everdeen vibes a bit though that was not really the high hairstyle Katniss Everdeen had but she did have like a braid and that's kind of where the r r r what's it called this sim similarity comes from I guess but yeah guys that was Sugi's 28 recent performance video an incredible incredible performance it's just what I would expect from Sugi this type of dance it feels like a feels like we've already seen a bit of a teaser of what this like of this dance in uh, something like monster and naughty it actually feels a bit like a combination of the two and then just sprinkled a little bit of some extra stuff on top or, or some little bit of extra sulky on top which I absolutely love it's a super super cool dance it's very very I'd, I'd say sensual but powerful if that makes sense like it's a lot more powerful than sensual but there's still that element to it in the way she moves and in, in all of these uh small intricate move, uh, moves and, and and stuff it's very very cool i absolutely love it i've also been recommended to check out some of the behind the scenes stuff so i will be doing that i've been recommended to check out the dead man running one uh apparently because that is the one she has written the lyrics for i'm not sure if she was she partook in the composition but i guess we'll find out doing the uh doing the behind and i thought where, when i'm checking that out i'm might as well check out the uh, 28 reasons behind as well. So that'll probably come out after that. But that's at least what we'll be seeing the next couple of weeks. Absolutely incredible job by Sulgi. But let me know what you guys thought about her 28 reasons performance down in the comments below. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>